Queen Tudela is pursuing self-inquiry and she's realizing her nature as pure consciousness which is clothed as it were by the life force and it dwells in the heart and this is the heart of being not the heart location or the heart chakra we've cleared this up before lo and behold I have realized that it is the self which is pure consciousness that dwells as the jiva because the consciousness becomes aware of itself as its own object. This object is insentient and unreal and because the self identifies itself with this object it apparently clothes itself with insentience having apparently but not in truth abandoned its essential nature as consciousness. And this, in a nutshell, is the situation. Within consciousness, everything is happening. As soon as consciousness identifies any aspect of what is happening, then we've got the coalescing of a sense of individuality. We've got a distinction between awareness and what awareness is aware of. We've got that distinction. And we make that distinction by saying that there's awareness and there's the object of awareness and that object of awareness is not awareness. And from that seed the whole notion of self and other arises, of me and a world out there these notions arise and the thing is awareness identifies with these notions whatever awareness is, a, is aware of it becomes that so if you're aware of pain then that's what your awareness is it's pain if you're aware of love that's what your awareness is it's love it becomes what it's aware of. So we're told that the object is insentient and unreal. So this is what awareness is aware of. It's insentient and unreal in the sense that it's regarded as not awareness. And because the self identifies itself with this object, it apparently clothes itself with insentience having apparently, but not in truth, abandoned its essential nature as consciousness. For such is the nature of consciousness, whatever it conceives itself to be, whether real or imaginary, that it becomes, apparently having abandoned its own nature. It gets lost in its own notions. It gets lost in the notion that there's an individual here and a world out there. Thus, though the self is pure consciousness, it imagines itself to be insentient and unreal on account of its perception of objects. So it, it's insentient and unreal in the sense that it imagines itself to be these mechanisms, mechanisms of body, mechanisms of the senses of the mind. This is what it imagines itself to be. Contemplating thus for a considerable time, Chudala became enlightened. So, notice that it's contemplating thus for a considerable time. It's not a kind of ultimate, once and forever breakthrough. You get the initial spark, the initial insight, and then you work with it, you develop it, you fan it by practicing self-inquiry.